I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, All right, mm -hmm. good work. Who should I... Hello? Is anybody there? Please pick up. Oh, God. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. I tried to give him the rest, but he just threw up everywhere. Oh, no. What's happening? What do I do? Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dodge and today we are back at it playing Killer Frequency. So sit back, relax, grab your snack, grab your beverage of choice, grab your stuffy. And let's get on with the show. I don't know what's going on, but is he still breathing? Is he still breathing? Yeah, but, but he's bleeding out fast. I really need help, please. Take a breath. We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden. He just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that, and I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh no, Forrest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. It sounded like he might have known the person. What? what? And they just stabbed him. What? Was it a Casey, woman? Was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know. Where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. Oh, God. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Wait. Why didn't she make sure he was dead? Ambulance is, is the ambulance down. was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. <sighs> where is he hurt? Can you tell us where your friend was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach, and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground, and it's... Oh, the knife is still there in his leg! Oh, God. What's your friend's name, Casey? It's Jason. Jason Parker. We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. All right, switching to line two. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. <clears throat> we have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason He's Parker. still in character. He's I love stabbed it. stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. Yeah. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen... You're going to have to get him here. We need How? to see him, and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first, right. and then finding someone to stabilize him. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. <laughs> no. Me neither. Uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. Okay. You think you can handle that? No. We don't have much of a choice. We don't really have much choice. Hit me. Okay. From the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. Okay. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. Okay. Got it. Peggy's got it. Think. You said he was stabbed, right? Yes. If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, don't take it out. Okay, don't take it out. It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. No, it makes it makes perfect God, sense. That was a lot of info. But I think we can handle this. Yeah, we got Glad it. Glad you got it so far, because there's more to go. Oh, God. Uh... Okay, keep going. I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. Great. If he does, act fast. Okay. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. Okay. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Got it. Try to keep him warm. Okay. To rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. 
<sighs> All right, uh, don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. Okay. Try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Got it. Good luck. All right, Forrest. Casey's still on line one. All right, let's go. We got this. I pressed the button. Hello? Hello? Forrest, are you there? And Dodgy. Dodgy's here, too. Um... I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. Well, duh. I need help. Okay. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. Okay. But he's still bleeding. Okay. I don't know what to do. All right. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his leg? Keep it in there. It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it out? No. Don't touch the knife. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Yep. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. Okay. We need to secure the knife. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up on top of the dryer, some cloths on the hood of the car, and what else? I guess I've got my jacket. Okay, um, use the clean rags. Uh, no, 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 um, uh, shoot. Use your jacket, use the laundry? Uh, use your Sorry jacket. This, Casey. I think it's best we use your jacket. It's probably less likely to bleed through. It's just a jacket. Give me a second. Here we go. I'm sorry, Jason. It's secure. I'm putting pressure on his stomach again. Okay. I'm starting to think we might make it. Forrest, can I have a word? Now? Now isn't the best time, Peggy. Can it wait? Forrest, it's kind of important. Okay, right. okay, what, what is it? Casey, I'm gonna have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything and we'll be there. I promise. Okay, I'll wait. Jason, please be okay. Okay, Peggy, what do you want? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? <sighs> You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. She'll have to drive? <laughs> Any suggestions? Any suggestions, Peggy? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. Okay. Oh. I, never mind. Oh. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah? Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably. But I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Okay. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. <sighs> Naturally. It's sensitive information, so Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Okay. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note-taker, though. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Right. There is something else. What now? I'm not gonna like this, am I? Have you ever heard, the future is floppy? No. Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Okay. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that have information on them. 
Oh. You put them in a computer and they do something. Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. <laughs> anyway. I forgot Ready this was based off of the, the 80s. The is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. Okay. It's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. All right. I need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, sure. Baby. I just have to look around. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. There's still more okay. to do. There isn't. I'll patch my mic down to the office so okay. you'll hear me over the intercom. Okay, cool. Took a long time for you to, to actually say that, Peggy, but thanks. Master of un unlocking. I am the master of unlocking. Um, is Reggie's office back here? I want to say it is. What's up with that music? All right. So Looks like I need a four-digit code. Hint. Very important date. Very important date. He writes things down, so... Remember Reggie Jr.'s birthday is... 9... 10... Not 10, 9. So, 0, 9, 1, 0. 0, 9, 1, 0. 0, 9, 1, 0. Really? Okay, so that wasn't it. Axe Forever needs to write pitch document. Good title, bring back original product. Okay. Alright, so that note is useless. Here's another one. Ask Jeannie where those tapes are. It's been weeks now. Overdue. Okay, that is not it. Clive, if you're reading this, stop stealing my posted notes. Peggy. Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I can't figure out how to get into this stupid safe. No worries. We still have a little time. Reggie writes almost everything down somewhere. I'd recommend you start reading. I'll have a look around. You're probably right. I'll let you know when I find something, or don't. Here's a floppy disk. Could this be it? Hmm. Deep Cuts Top Secret. Pizza delivery killer who kills with a pizza cutter? No way. Free slice on me. Terrifyingly. There was never any pizza. What happened to the original delivery guy? Maybe rate him in his final... Final girl's boyfriend. Protagonist. Oh, this is a story. She's smart, beautiful, resourceful, and lactose intolerant. Why is that important? Amplifies the divide between her and the pizza killer. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Takes place on 11-7. Very important date for the town. Huh. We'll try 11-7. See what that does. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Woo, look at all these floppies. Floppy, floppy. Okay, so that's John. Oh, it's mine. You know what? Oh, I didn't mean to put it back. It's Peggy's. Carrier. Barbara. Karen. I want to see what he has on me. Let's check this out. Alright, let's plug this bad boy in. Let's see what it has to say about me. Get a load of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. <laughs> what are you doing? We don't have time for this. We 
have a man literally dying on the line, and you're more interested in you. You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. <laughs> I can read the rest of this later. I can't believe we actually got THE Forrest Nash here in Gallows Creek. His motivation may be low, his demands are a bit beyond our means, and he's currently blacklisted from any reputable station. But honestly, we don't have a reputation to lose. Forrest isn't really integrating with the team, he seems to have this lone wolf thing going on. Heard him call Jeannie, Janie, Jeannie? I'm not sure if I said that right. And Brenda in his first week. Hopefully this can change when he gets settled. I've paired Forrest with Peggy for his show. They seem to have developed a relationship, ooh la la, of sorts pretty quickly, which is good because we sure don't have the show budget to pair him with Karen. Why? What's wrong with Karen? Now I'm interested in Karen. Is that Karen? That's Karen. What's wrong with Karen? was weird uh we're gonna ignore that for right now and um yeah continue to uh read the notes so karen has really stepped up in her duties in recent months she has fully taken on hamish's hamish hamish's show alongside the timberland twins ever since Wes left us. Hopefully she doesn't get any ideas about being paid double. Karen has started mentoring Peggy. I think this will be really good for Peggy. They're even doing team building, training getaways. Hmm. To improve efficiency. Update. I'm starting to suspect that these producer training getaways are being strategically timed. They've now both missed Secret Santa first aid training and the Teddy Gallo Jr. station visit. Hmm. Okay. Um, excuse me, door. Can you get off me? All right, let's see about Peggy. Hey, Peggy. I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. Hmm. Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. What? Why are you reading my file? <laughs> you need to find someone who can help Casey. We already know I can. Don't waste time. Sometimes I wonder if Peggy secretly wants her own show. Hmm. She hasn't been shy about getting involved in the calls on the screen. Sometimes it feels as though Forrest could just leave for a coffee mid-call and nobody would know. Peggy is is trying to take over the show. I got my eye on you, Peggy. Let's see about John. All right, so John refuses to engage with the first aid trainer during the course. I know he was a war medic, but it was station policy to send everybody regardless. John apparently has a bunch of medical equipment in his home that he procured from the military at the end of his service. Is that legal? Do I need to report him? All right, Barbara is really getting on well with all the staff here. Everybody gave her great feedback at our last review. I get the feeling there's something going on with her and Brad, call it a hunch. Well, I mean, they're broken up now, so, I mean, your hunch was right, but it's, uh, it's no longer a problem anymore. Barbara got another cat recently. Ah, so all those pictures of cats were Barbara's. That makes sense. I mean, it was at Barbara's desk, so they were all her cats. She has a lot of cats. She must have had, she must have at least five now. Daisy, Murphy, Penelope, Freddie... And Lord Winston. 
I'll need to monitor productivity going forward. The cat photos are a big distraction for the rest of the team. I don't understand why, but okay. So far, the only person that seems capable is um, the vet. This is Bradley. Let's see what Bradley's file says. Bradley and Barbara seem to be spending an awful lot of time together. I didn't realize she was interested in Brad's work. Maybe I should join one of their after work meetings sometimes. <laughs> I don't think uh, you're welcome to that party. I'm just uh, just going based off of uh, what... Uh, you know what? Never mind. We're not going to go there. Brad and Barbara ended up missing most of our first aid training session. Brad made a joke about practicing mouth to mouth and Barbara got really upset and stormed off. All right. So Brad and Barbara ended up missing most of the first aid session. So Brad and Barbara are out. John would be the best bet. All right. Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, All right, mm -hmm. good work. Who should I... Hello? Is anybody there? Please pick up. Oh, God. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. I tried to give him a rest, but he just threw up everywhere. Oh, no. What's happening? What do I do? Um, did he have booze earlier? He's going into shock. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Yeah. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the bleeding seemed to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm sorry. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I I need you oh. to listen to me, okay? Elevate his feet. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Um. Elevate Casey, Jason's legs. I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Mm -hmm, Got mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my notes. We need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as possible. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Oh, yeah. no. I still have some laundry next to me. I'll wrap him in some blankets. Yeah, okay, okay. Just give me a second. Okay. <sighs> sorry, sorry. Jason's bleeding through his bandages. Sh should I get him new ones? Or no, no, no. Oh, God. Uh, no, no, no. Apply additional bandages. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something you can use? I'm using the laundry to keep it warm. So, I'll use the cleaning rag for yes. the car. Yep, yep, that there you go. Dirty. I'll fix the bandage and get it warm. Okay. Hold on, please. Uh. Sorry, sorry. I'm done. Yeah, you're gonna be okay, Jason. Be strong. Casey, I need you to be strong for Jason. You need to be strong. Sit with him and reassure him that everything's gonna be okay. Everything okay? is gonna be fine. Okay. Yes. Who was it? John. Yeah, John. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Yeah. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. Mm -hmm. Something of a hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, 542 Calling now. Let's help me pick... Uh, who the hell is this? Oh. What time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Yes. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Just leave me a note like everybody else. Uh, no. This is a medical emergency. 
John, no, this is a medical emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or never mind. He, he's badly hurt, and he's going to die unless we get someone to him now. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, <sighs> we're not kidding. A man is going to die if we don't help him right now. Seriously? Yes, I, seriously. I haven't been called on for over ten years. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach, and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg, and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies, and I'll head right over. Okay, thank God. Damn, if he dies on my watch. Thank you, John. Yes! I like this Let man! Know you're on your way. Good luck. <laughs> you just hung Hello, up. Casey, are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak and then just started thrashing. What about now? Is he still thrashing? He's passed out. Please tell me you found someone to help. Yes, yes, we did. Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. You hear that, Jason? Someone is coming. You're going to be just fine. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. You got this, Come Jason. On. Okay. Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. We've got this from here. Oh, okay. thank God. Forrest, we'll call you back later. I have to go now. Good luck, everyone. God, I hope he's going to be all right. Me too. <sighs> and with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Oh, <sighs> okay. Well, after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. I'm just glad that we saved his life because honestly, uh, I don't want another person to die on my watch. Music on already. Okay, hold on, Peggy. Jesus Christ. Let's get the eye of the tiger going, maybe. Sure. Eye of the tiger. Nope. <laughs> that is not it. Boop. Alright. Yes. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. It's getting pretty late. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. Alright, sounds good. Well, with that being said, guys, that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed, please be sure to hit the bell notification, that way you are aware of the next time that I post. I love you. Don't forget your boobs. Boop. Okay, bye. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I hate these.